All right, hello everyone. Word for here. Welcome back to Miss of the World Seven, I think. The Whispering Marsh. And um, that's our hint button. We have some achievements. We're looking for acorns. And we have lots of inventory items. We have a clock key, seeds, noisemaker, crossbow crank, a lead soldier, a candle, and a la some lantern oil. And of course, our map. Oh, hello. Objectives. Ooh, investigate the attic. Okay. Oh, here's our achievements. Finish a hop without using a hint in 60 seconds. I don't think I'm gonna get all the morphic objects, but you know. Alright, awesome. So here we are, and we want to explore this attic. It's dark in here, but we have a candle. Who is that? You startled me. I'm Albrecht, Hilda's beau. Her father, the professor, didn't approve of me at first. But he promised to give me his blessing if I helped him search the marshes. Once we arrived, he sent me here to fetch a parcel. I was curious, so I opened it and found this lantern. Then those lights appeared. I panicked and swung the lantern at them. I set the lantern over there. At any rate, I should check on Hilda. Okay. Does he have a lantern man lantern? Hmm, was it something about the lamp that drove away the lights? Okay, we need, I need my acorn, come on. Collectible acorns. I finally finished reconstructing the lamp. I found more glass than I needed, but that might come in handy. If I remembered where I put it, they could be anywhere in the house. So the professor has the spare parts. Now I just need to find him. Some of the glass pieces are missing. He's making a lantern man lantern? What? Oh, hello. What's back there? I can probably lure this bird away with some food. Here you go, some seeds. Yeah, take the seeds. The marsh, the marshal was taken during our last outing, but at least we got the lantern plans from that hermit, Aleida Weber. I will complete my mission. I don't know how, but I will. So he sounds like a man with a strong will. I bet he's still alive somewhere in the marshes. Stone claw and glass piece. Is this Professor Brent and his wife and daughter? Okay. Oh. Whose room is this? Oh. Lead soldier. Brooch and rock salt. Now we have a clock key. Oh, I should take that coat hanger first, yeah. All right, three out of four. Mm. Who needs thingies? Yeah, okay, no, maybe not out here. Um. Hmm. Your current location, locations where you have something to do. Okay, so I'm definitely in the right spot, apparently. I can only see- oh! Aha! Uh -huh. Brooch. Brooch. All these clues point in a direction my rational mind refuses to even acknowledge. The Lantern Man is nothing but an old wives' tale. No. 
It is said this mythical man loathes any form of merriment. He spirits away careless people who laugh, sing, or play at night. That's why you stay indoors and sleep during the night, children, and not don't go out and dance in the forest, okay? Even mocking him was enough to invite his wrath. He was most certainly designed to frighten misbehaving children. Exactly. Don't play in the forest at night. However, if you could hold your breath while his lantern shined upon you, you would be spared. Oh, I did not know that. Cool. Okay. That's I cool. fear I have reached the limits of my knowledge of the marshland. However, there is one person who may know more than even I. No wonder the professor was afraid for his wife. I can't believe he went to the marsh after such a man. Her the hermit, I'm guessing? You talked about? Okay. Oh! Memory! No. Place the glass piece in the frame so that no two pieces of the same color are next to each other. Aha. Uh -huh. That is what I'm doing, okay. Right. 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 Uh, even this wondrous lamp needs oil to shut a light. <clears throat> oh! It's those hellish lights! Hopefully this lamp may help. Use the lantern to drive it drive them away. Oh! Oh. I need to connect all the signs. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Ah, uh, now I get the controls. Yeah. It worked. I should go check on Hilda and Al Albrecht now. Albrecht. That was magnificent! You're the first to defeat those eerie lights. Can we help? Let us search the Marshal's office. Perhaps he left a clue to where he was searching. I'll let you know if we find something. Meanwhile, you should speak to Professor Brandt. We set up camp in a cave by the forest. He's likely still waiting for me. Give him my regards. <laughs> okay. His knowledge can be crucial here. I just hope something th that he is still there. It's the official marshal's seal. I'll need to remove it carefully to keep it intact. But my coat hanger. No. Uh, I'd say this is a spot for a crest or something similar. 
Uh, this guy could be would be scarier if he still had both horns. Thank you. I need that in here. Must be the professor's ring. Okay. We have the acorn out here. City gate. There's no one out. Good thing the curfew's working. Due to recent disappearances, I hereby declare a curfew. It is forbidden to wander the streets at night or to venture into the marsh, town marshal. He tried to protect the citizens by instituting a curfew. Too bad he couldn't protect himself. Where's my acorn? Need to insert three silver pieces. That's not cheap. Color crafting guide. I have this. The other two thingies, not so much. I don't have a key, but I'm sure I can improvise. Come on, coat hanger is so legit. Come on. Oh, hello. A uh, tar and a crossbow string. Okay. The gate is far too heavy. There must, but there must be a lifting mechanism around here. Oh wait a minute! Did I miss something? Like over here? Yeah. Um. I have to repair this mechanism to lift the gate. Crossbow string. No. All right. Um. No, maybe not. Okay. Mm, tar. No, I am definitely at the right location. <laughs> I am where I want to be. A lot. I just have no idea why I want to be there. Ah, crossbow string. Pipe cleaner. The professor has a clever plan, but first I must sabotage the gates to enforce the curfew. If no one gets out, no one gets hurt. The marshal must have broken the gate to keep people away from the swamp. Here we go. The chain must be precisely 14 links long or the machine will not work. Professor Brent. Well, sabotaging the gate is another part of the professor's plan. Oh, one golden ibis. This is pipe cleaner. Oh. Okay. Oh, lockpick. Okay. Um, we needed that for here, where we could improvise. Yeah. I don't know how lock picky that was, but um, it worked. I need ibises, I ibises there. Town sigil. All right, let's do this. Lynchpin. Okay. Hello. Ooh, an object seen. Okay. Oh, this is an interactive HOP. Find the hot. I had an object puzzle. Find the objects in the scene based on the silhouettes in their inventory. And then give them to people. Uh, where's the fourth shutter? The only thing they can construct a cat from yarn is food. No? Who needs an axe? Ooh, Pisces. Hello. Oh, you need an axe. No? 
Oh, ship without sail. Another bucket to maintain balance. Food. Maybe some flowers would cheer her up. Uh, I have things, but not things that anyone needs. Well, there we go. Fishy! Ball of yarn! Now who needs that, though? Dough? Uh... Oh! No? Oh, you need yarn, because you can make a sail. Yeah! Now he needs. Whoops. Now he needs that. Yes. Oh. Apparently, I'm taking that. Um. Make some planks. Ooh. Here we go. There's a specific order to this. Okay. Ooh, the bucket we need. Flowers. And a silver golden ibis. Yes, we have both golden ibises. Okay, awesome. Come over here. We got a scraper and a chain. We go gate chain. Oh, okay. Hogs are too far away. Too close for this type of chain. Oh, we need to move these. Oh, there's an obstacle between them? Oh. Um. another blue then. I don't have that. Mm. Mm, yeah, yeah. Oh, we can do that. a while, but I did it. No, it really didn't. The road to the forest is open. Nibelwald. Something. Fesser must have passed through here on his way to the cave. I should look around. Ooh. Wait, I want to see what this was called again. Nibelwald fringes. Okay. Uh, curfew. I need to secure the rope before I even think about crossing the river on that barge. Okay, where is my acorn? There. Alright, seems like there's something in here. Notice, Ulmon's distillery has the best peat-based lantern fuel from here to the Rhine. Yes, we are definitely in Germany. Dry peat here. I've never heard of anyone stilling peat, but that contraption looks easy enough to use. Removes roots and vines. Powerful herbicide. 
Spark or two will get this burner going. There's something missing from here. Rune stones. We can't go over right now. Alright, rune stones it is. Wow, impressive. I wonder when this men here was built. See men here. Isn't that like a bronze age grave or something? No. No. If I could improvise some sort of hook, I could use the rope to grab some peat. Okay. Mm, I'll have to look up what a min here is. I don't remember. I definitely have the word. Whoop. Oh, I have another one. It's a silver thaler. Oh my god, they have thaler. Thaler. A dollar. Um, a Swedish currency? used to be called, or at least people called it sometimes dollar, which is basically that word. Well, they call it riksdaler, but um, that is totally a word for currency that we also used. I mean, not a lot of people use that word anymore, but you could, you could totally call money that. Definitely. Oh, that is so cool. Okay. Anyways. That is it for this episode, so thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see ya!